Hey everybody, it's Dave Dugdale, learningvideo.com. I just want to say thanks to a couple people that helped me out on my last question. Uh, looks like there was a Jason, and over on the forums, there's a Ronan Edits, I believe is his name. Thanks guys for uh, uh, helping out. So let me explain what they told me to do. Basically what I want to do is like, um, not on the master clip, let's, I'll, I'll get to that here in a minute. Let's go to the scopes. And let's say if I just wanted to add some contrast real quick, maybe some saturation on this really quick. Maybe that's too much, but this is just for demonstration purposes. So I've made two different um, changes on two different parts of these panels. So if I go just to the contrast, it'll just change contrast. Um, and I go down here, I'm just taking away the saturation. But if I want to do the whole thing, I just press the number zero on the keyboard and there it is. It bypasses both of those. So it's bypassing all the metrics. So let me show you how I, those guys told me to do it. Go down to edit shortcuts. Now if you type in Lemetri, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, you'll see I signed it to zero. And the reason I signed it to zero is because in speed grade um, it's set to zero. And I'm just used to that shortcut. So it'll just bypass. It doesn't reset everything. Maybe I misspoke on that last video, but it just by bypasses it temporarily until you release the, the key. Um, so and what I noticed here is when I, I did a search for Lumetri and I probably put the zero on here, but it didn't work. What you want to do is get rid of this for some reason and you want to go all the way down to, what is it, panels? Because it's an entire panel that you're basically get, getting rid of. And then go down to Lumetri and then you can enter it. So for some reason I couldn't enter it before. And then put the zero in, say okay, and I just saved as Dave's shortcuts kind of thing insert your name here. So there was another piece of confusion I want to maybe clear up um, that I was doing. So the difference between the master clip and the rename. So I just made a um, adjustment to this clip, that's part of the clip, this part of the instance I guess you could say. But if this was a very long clip and maybe I chopped up the many pieces, well I could adjust the master. And let's say I just wanted to adjust the the temperature of it. Let's say I wanted to warm it up. Now we'll look at the what's going to happen on the left over here, not the right. If I can warm it up, and you see once I released it, then it add warmth. And if I um, maybe get a little bit more magenta maybe, and then release, you see what happens over here? So that's what was happening before until I actually released it. So uh, when I was going on the scopes, remember I was saying, well, I'm moving it around, I can see the scopes moving, but I can't see this moving. That's because this is the um, on the clip level, where this is the mass, I'm not even using the terminology correctly, but this is on the, the instance level of that clip, whereas this is the whole entire thing, this window over here on the left. That's what my confusion was between these two monitors. So this side, I guess, is your instance level, and this is your master level, so that's why. Um, so just big thanks to you guys um, uh, for answering that question really quickly. I really appreciate it. That will make my workflow a lot easier, at least until you know, I start playing with uh, DaVinci Resolve 12, which I might switch to. Um, the only thing I, I mean, you guys can stop watching at this point, but uh, the only thing I, I'm kind of frustrated a little bit with here is like when you do add contrast, here, let me go back to this level so I can actually see things happen. You see, I can add contrast, but I got so used to in speed grade having a way to change the pivot level of this contrast curve. And I mean, you can kind of do that with shadows and highlights. That is probably, I must, probably misspoke. It's probably not the best way to do this, but the only way I could think of, unless of course you went down to here and then you created your own um, curve and you wanted to do something, you know, change the pivot point of that um, contrast curve. If you wanted it, depending where you wanted that part of the contrast to be. So anyway, I just got used, so used to it. I mean, there's a lot of things to like about this. I love the sliders. This is something DaVinci Resolve has never had. And I love how it runs along this axis here for warmth. And then this one runs along this axis here for green and magenta. Anyway, all right. Here, let me try this. I'm going to hit zero on the keyboard. Oh, another thing is when you sign it to zero uh, on re speed grade, when you'd hit the zero key on the numeric keypad on a Windows machine, it would work. See, I'm clicking it, it's not working, but it works on the above the letters on your keyboard on a Windows machine. I don't know if that, in Macintosh, I don't even think you have a numeric keypad. 
All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.